Hey guys, what is up? It's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here with me today. this video by saying January 29th 2021 which is today will go down in history uh, for my pages for like my career wise today will go down in history I have officially hit a hundred thousand followers on TikTok. thank you guys so much and I actually also hit five I can't talk that's how excited I am 5.5 thousand subscribers on YouTube right here so I am ecstatic thank you guys so much if I sound nasally at all I do have a cold so I apologize I hope it's not too annoying so today's video is going to be all about how to become an actor during quarantine I know that these times are really really weird not much is happening you know like things are still filming it's definitely not as much as before acting classes aren't in person theater is heavily affected but it is a wonderful amount of time to take advantage of and kind of find the silver lining that you could be using this as a time to further yourself creatively I know a lot of people were like well what can I do then if every things closed there's not much I can do there actually is and I'm gonna explain today what you guys can be doing from home during quarantine to become an actor my first step is I know I always say it you guys are probably so annoying of hearing me say it but training um, many 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 classes are not in person right now if not all classes are not in person right now which is kind of a fortunate because um, Acting is a very physical thing. It takes a lot of chemistry and like, you know, uh, the ability to have, you know, to feel someone's energy with you. So when it's like through a screen, it totally changes it for sure. Um, but there are still plenty of things you can be learning online. There are tons of workshops, you guys, that um, many of them actually right now are like free, if not really um, inexpensive. But there are so many things going on online, so just workshops being held by different casting directors, different agents, just coaches in general. Many people are holding them over Zoom, and sometimes they're group calls, sometimes it's just one-on-one. -on -one. But definitely, definitely, definitely be researching online to just see, you know, online virtual acting workshops or virtual classes for beginner actors and I promise you there will be tons. I get the question a lot like what sites do you recommend to find any? I don't really know if there's specific sites to be looking. I think you just kind of have to like just google a very general request to find them. However, I will say I did a little mini partnership with Backstage a few weeks ago hey backstage love you guys I actually saw on their site that they actually post um, different workshops on backstage so if you guys have backstage definitely take advantage of that um, and it's like posted where like the castings would be posted but instead it's just a notice um, for like workshops that are being um, taught and like coaching for actors by different casting directors so that's really really cool you usually do have to pay a tuition for those I believe for the ones that are on backstage but that's a great site because then you see all of the legit workshops um, being held virtually and you know they're by real casting directors so definitely look into that guys also uh, the next thing is books um, this is a great 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 time to be reading books about acting I do I've heard two different recommendations one is the power of the actor by Ivana Chubuk so many people so many of you guys that follow me and stuff definitely like commented a lot to um, have me check that out so I really want to see that one and then the other one is by Jenna Fisher who plays Pam in the office and that one is called the actor's life a survival guide so I will put pictures of them right here those top two I can't recommend for myself because I need to read more I usually only read scripts I'm very bad at reading books nowadays if you guys have read those let me know but I have heard from fellow actors um, from you know just different things online that those are like the top two books for actors especially beginners to kind of just get an overall perspective on what the industry is like next you definitely want to be um, using this time to be performing in front of people even if it's just over zoom or over FaceTime or in front of like maybe like your two family members that you're at home with. Um, definitely guys be looking for monologues. 
online and then record yourself um, and watch yourself back you know take a few takes once you learn that monologue perform it a few times film yourself on your phone and just watch it back and kind of critique yourself and see you know like were you happy with that performance what do you think you can change um, if you guys ever want to you you're more than more than uh, able to send them to me on Instagram and I will give you some notes um, but yeah just definitely be getting used to being on camera just set up a camera in front of you and uh, perform and watch yourself back and also too, just you know bug your parents or something say hey can I have 10 minutes of your time to just have you um, watch me perform this monologue because as I say all the time you can be so comfortable with a monologue just doing it by yourself in your bedroom and think you're totally fine but when you step foot into that casting room or um, on set whatever it might be it's totally gonna be different when you actually have to perform it in front of people just sitting there watching you so definitely use this time to get used to being uncomfortable in the sense I always say get comfortable with being uncomfortable um, so even if it's just a few friends or family members over zoom or whatever it might be that can definitely help I get asked a lot do you have any specific sites to find monologues um, I don't really it's kind of the same thing for example if you're like an 18 year old girl go to Google and type in dramatic monologues for 18 year old girls however I will say that when I was a bit younger I got a lot of monologues from this site called aceyouraudition.com um, this is not sponsored or anything but I do remember using that site to just find a few different monologues to play around with also I always say when you're going in for an audition um, don't bring a monologue from a TV show or movie. I've been told by many coaches um, and in just different workshops and everything that they don't want to be comparing your performance to the original movie performance or if they cast for that film or something, you know, they don't want to see that monologue be brought to life again. They don't want to be focused on what it was in the show or movie. They want to be focused on you. So try to find one that's not like too overused. Like I always say, I remember when I taught a class when a girl um picked a monologue from finding nemo and that's like just something you don't want to do um because it's something that people have heard a million times so for auditions never do that but if you're just you know wanting monologues to practice from home and just have fun with and record yourself and maybe send them to like friends or something um definitely use something from your favorite tv show or your favorite movie and uh you know just kind of try to see how you can do it and how different you can make it that kind of leads to my next point another thing you guys can be doing from home to better yourself as an actor during quarantine is people watch okay I know that sounds so weird but in 2015 when I met Dove Cameron um, we all asked her like if she has any acting tips for beginners or for kids and she said people watch literally watch TV or movies and watch the actors and see what they did and if you would do that or if you would do something else pick up on the little things and their little techniques because literally the more you watch it the more it's gonna be like drilled into your brain and you're gonna feel more comfortable with going the lengths that they do for your character so it sounds really dumb but just you know be watching tons of movies you got a lot of downtime at home um, binge watch some shows and just really watch the acting you can also lastly be using this time to find a headshot photographer as I always say, you guys, you know this, headshots are so important. It's how you market yourself. It's how agents and casting directors know what you look like. It's basically the first thing that you're gonna be submitting and using when you are auditioning for roles or um, trying to go into an audition for a role. Headshots are so important. The more you put into headshots, the more you're gonna get out of your auditions. You know, the better quality, the better. Um, you know, and I don't mean you have to go out and spend thousands on your very first headshots, but just always know if you wanna be taken seriously in this industry and have acting as your career, you want to be promoting yourself um, the best you can and, you know, putting effort into having good headshots. So obviously, you know, during quarantine, during lockdown, many photographers are not doing headshot sessions right now, but you can be using this time to kind of research what headshot photographers around you uh, um, there might be you know kind of just search around Google type in headshot photographers near me or actor headshot photographers or whatever it might be um, you don't want to be just going to a 
portrait photographer in a mall or something. Um, that's not what these are for. Actor headshots have a very distinct look that you want to make sure to portray. So it's not just you taking a selfie on your iPhone. They should be legit and professional. So just kind of search around, see which one um, you think you like the look of best, see which one is the best rated in your area, uh, see how close or far they might be. So take this time to prepare for headshots as well. Headshots are amazing major important step and they usually come early on in your career so if you're just starting off this is a perfect time to really get your headshot plan figured out all right guys i hope this was good for you i hope this time gets better for all of us soon and i know so many of you guys were curious about what you can be doing right now even when it seems like there's no hope in times like these you really can be using this creatively and um, as hard as it might be, just looking towards the better side and trying your best to better yourself. Comment down below what video you want to see next. Again, thank you so much for 5.5 thousand subscribers and 100 thousand followers on TikTok. I'm still mind blown. As always, make sure to follow me on all my social media. Subscribe to me here and let me know what you want to see next. Thank you guys for everything. I will talk to you soon.